Hey, what's going on? Antonio X Carter here, 401k minority millionaire. I wanted to show you how to use this M1 account uh, when it comes to some simple things. And so one of those things being the beginning, which is withdrawing money from your bank account and making it available for you to invest within your M1 account. I was looking for videos. Um, there's all types of information on this type of thing. So I wanna make this short and sweet for you, okay? Right now you are looking at my portfolio. Started it not too long ago. Uh, I've been fortunate to have some money to put in there. And right now I have a cash balance of $100.43. The first thing that I will tell you, step number one, okay? Um, well, after you've created your pies, right? You need to create those first. If you don't know what a pie is, I will explain that in another video, or you could watch other YouTube videos to find out. But essentially, that's where you have your stocks and ETFs and stuff. So you have that created already. That's step number one. Step number two, make sure you have this button off, this auto invest. We do not want to auto invest. What does that mean? The money that is in your cash balance, which is pretty much like an escrow or a placeholder for money that is either made or brought from your bank into your M1 account, um, that means it will be automatically dispersed within your investment portfolio. You don't want to do that because I made the mistake and I took $6,500 from out of my account. Uh, withdrew it from my bank account into the M1 account, and it purchased all of my stocks already. Now, luckily, my portfolio is doing great, okay? Um, and so I'm not having a problem. My stuff has been up with the gains ever since. So step number two, make sure in auto invest is off, all right? So the next step is number three, make sure you have a bank connection. You want to make sure that you have a bank connected. If you do not, go ahead and do it in that in this step. Okay, you want to hit bank connection uh, and and make connection with your bank. It's very easy, very simple, um, and one makes it very quick. All right. So the next step, we can either do a deposit right here, or originally, what we're typically going to do is do a deposit right here. So go ahead and click deposit. Already my account is coming up for my portfolio. It is going to say accounts from, and I'm going to select the bank account that I want to withdraw money from. And then I'm just going to put in an amount. So let's just say I'm going to do $25 and I'm going to take it from my bank account into my portfolio here on M1 account. I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to confirm that bad boy. Let's see, I already have a pending transfer. Okay, so that's okay, all right? Um, I, I have a lot of stuff happening right now. <laughs> so originally that will go through. And then when that goes through, um, you will then see the money deposited here within the cash balance. It may take a day. Typically, it takes about a day. Uh, you make the transaction, and then the transaction happens the very next day. You can go to activity, the activity tab, and you can see all the stuff that's happening within your account. Um, but it's that simple, guys. I want to keep this short and sweet. If you want more information on M1 Finance, uh, just click on any of my other videos. Also, if you want to see the process of me getting $60,000 from out of debt because I'm being stupid, being an idiot, making bad business decisions and spending all of my money, uh, you want to watch this channel because this is pretty much my documentary, my journey, uh, me venting, as you will, and learning when it comes to money, when it comes to personal finances. I teach all things money related on this channel, um, you know business funding, um, investing, all types of things, okay? So if you're into that type of thing and you wanna hear from a minority individual such as myself, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, check out my other content, my other videos, and uh, we'll keep you in touch, all right? See you in the next one.